And welcome back to the extra long run where we are playing Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Um, so yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end here. We um, have 19 left to find. We found most of them. And I think before we go on to our next stage, there's a rift over here that we haven't done. Storm Tornado, Realm Away, Storm, tor Storm Tornado Trial. Ah, it's hard to say. I ain't gonna lie, this one's pretty fun. So fighting two bosses, both of which are Florinas. Ah. Well, I'm probably over time at this point. But that's okay. Yeah, I figured it was a minute and a half. <clears throat> And hey, that brings us to five rare stones. And you know what we can do with five rare stones? We can unlock our final ability. So which ability do you think that we should upgrade? Should we upgrade hammer? There is no other option for upgrading Hammer. Well, technically there is one other option. But that one other option is a lot of other options. And we could definitely use like just casually having two Hammer. Wait a second, Kirby. Have we finally evolved all of your copy abilities? That's amazing! To think a humble engineer like me got to build every single one of them. I am honored. I want you to have this special figure. Consider it a cute collectible token of my appreciation. Weapon Shop Waddle D. This energetic craftsman opened his own weapon shop in town. He can power up your copy abilities. All he needs is a blueprint, his trusty hammer, and a little elbow grease. He keeps making the headgear for each evolved ability bigger than the one before. That's how you know they're more powerful. Time to upgrade sleep again. Um, but yeah, uh, we have upgraded everything, but... We can still get uh, rare stones, 
and we can power these abilities up further. Also, I don't know if we can like power them up separately. Like we power this one up and this one and this one. Ah, this one's nice and fast. Look at that. We can even do passive damage with uh with these uh fire hammers. So it doesn't do as much damage, but it does it a lot faster because there are two hammers. The figurine of yourself. Thanks for the gift. At least it's a figurine that we could not have otherwise gotten. So let's do it. Attack. Masked Hammer Trial. If you attack after a perfect dodge, you get the full charge attack. Nice. Too bad I don't dodge. Oh, that's cool. There we go. And the perfect dodge is actually not that hard to pull off either. And as soon as I say that, of course, Also interesting that like, however many enemies that I hit on the last strike, um, they'll be like, or if maybe if I, it's just if I hit an enemy on the last strike. No, I don't even need to do that. I lost my extra health. That's not great. Oh geez, 30 seconds left. Wow, a minute 40 is what I needed. Okay, let's see. 
So we are up to the power plant and just give me one second here. Okay, uh, so I need to infiltrate the control room, and there's one other thing that I don't know what it is. So infiltrate the control room was the first one on the list. Which means that it's probably going to be pretty early on. Ah. Just trying to find any little nooks here and there that uh I go lie down while well, you uh you have fun lying down there, Tyrion. Thanks for dropping by. Hmm. This seems like a particularly suspicious location. But I'm not finding anything that's uh especially suspicious about this location. No! Well, I got crushed there, but at least I kept my hammer. Oh, what's this? Aha! I do believe I have infiltrated the control room. I can tell because it says on the bottom of the screen, infiltrate the control room. Uh, let's see. So I have all of the hidden Ds. I do, I do have that. Uh, so the next one would be perk up with three cups of coffee, which I already did. Maybe the last one is to, like, not get crushed ever. And if that's the case, then unfortunately I've already got crushed. You came back. Usually when an ability comes back, that means you're going to need it.
And that would be why. I remember this being in uh, the dream world as well. I think we ended up getting past this uh, because the um, there was a conveyor belt underneath that uh, basically allow you allowed you to bolt through. Or maybe it's like break all of the crates. I can't break those. Yeah, so we are at full health. I feel like the last one was probably something to do with that last segment. Don't get squished. Okay. So I was right the first time. Pipe mouth Kirby. Now he can stuff an entire pipe into his mouth. Get a good forward roll going and nothing can stop you. Assuming time uh, assuming you time your jumps over gaps wall, that is. And we know the how that how hard that can be sometimes. Wonderia statue. Wonderia was named as after its founder, an author who wrote stories about a dog that explores our outer space. These stories be, uh, became incredibly popular and were later used as the basis for the Wonderia theme park, a land of dreams for kids of all ages. All right, um, 
So I'm just going to be a second here. Apparently there's a bit of uh, maintenance that I need to take care of, so give me a second. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Turns out the bit of maintenance um, that uh, I thought I had to attend to is something that I that I'm not the one who needs to attend to it. So let's avoid getting squished. Considering that we're not looking for anything anymore, this hopefully should be fairly easy to do. I'm also not going to take for granted then that uh, I'm not just going to bungle this, so... That was a slight risk that I took previously, but it's fine. Oh, geez. Okay. So that doesn't open all the way back up unless you actually... Well... <sighs> Apparently in... Uh, in the matter of uh, Kirby versus Charging Bull, effectively. Charging Bull wins. So away we go again. And now I know I just need to sidestep that guy. That is how you avoid getting squished. I took damage there, but it's fine. I didn't get squished. It specifically says don't get squished. Taking any other damage, perfectly acceptable. Come back here, you.
But I don't know if this part is included in Don't Get Squished. And I don't know if if it is included. Um, I don't know if it's just don't get caught between two walls. Or if I absolutely cannot touch that encroaching spike wall behind me. All right, so we did manage to avoid getting squished this time. There is nothing left here that can squish us, so we're good. Done with another stage. Yeah, Fanta, yeah, our fourth needle. Gathering of the Beast Council. So we need to venture deep into the secret passage. And then there's two other things that I don't know about. So this is going to be great. Armando easily taken care of. Now what if I take this car backward? I can't. All right. I uh, suppose you see anything that looks vaguely secret passagey.
Oh. There's a secret passage down here, or was it just the... Yeah, I think it was just... Just for the toy. All surprise and no kinder. Good bit of damage there. Well, I defeated him without getting hit that time. Does that count? <laughs> Probably not, eh? Oh, but that is one of the goals. Defeat Silly Dilla in a minute 30. Which one is that? That is the second goal. So we probably already have missed the secret passage. Dang. Come on. Maybe this is the secret passage, I don't know. Now we've been here. Now uh, here comes Claraline. There we go. So if the third one is also a time attack, it might be against Claraline. We might have hit it there because that was pretty quick. But it was not. Okay. Whoosh. Dang. Maybe it's do the roller coaster without getting hit.
notes over here. Couple of extra prizes. Secret spot. With some more extra prizes. So we got one. Be Claroline without getting hit. The Claroline is the one we need to beat without getting hit. And we got Korori. I'll give it one more try. However, I I really don't like this challenge. Oh. Yeah, I saw the two torches this time. I was like, huh. Maybe that's the hidden path and yes indeed. That gave me crash. Interesting. So let's just casually go um, annihilate Gormondo with Crash. Now that was silly. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of like Oh, so you need you need to beat this one boss, like straight up boss. Let's not pretend it's not. And you need to do it without getting hit. But in order to even get there, you need to beat these other two bosses first. Fortunately, at least you can get hit as many times as you want with the other two bosses. Although this guy I would have had to defeat in like a minute and a half, which fortunately I already did. There we go. That's how you do it without messing up. It is in fact possible. Uh, 
And with the old standby. And now even if I do get hit, I still gotta I still got to finish this fight either way. Because I did get another... Uh... There we go. Now we did it. We did it. There we go. That's another stage done. Now I just gotta survive this roller coaster of doom. Roller coaster of doom. Say what? Roller coaster. Yeah! I think I did actually better that time. I only got hit like once. And I don't need the extra treasures. We've got plenty of money. 11,763 coins. And then another 50 for clearing on wild. Yeah, 11,813. I think we're good on coins. Runaway parade car. Bandana D. The Beast Pack's final stand. Rem remove five Beast Base wanted posters and don't fall in the lava while using Cone Mouth. So remove five wanted posters and uh, don't fall in the lava while using Cone Mouth. Secret spot. So the big thing is I'm going to need to not forget to uh, look for wanted posters because I think that's what happened last time is like, oh right, I'm supposed to be looking for wanted posters and I'm not doing that. Well, why am I not doing that? Because I'm being a silly. So descending into the Beast Pack's base. We meet again for the first time. Okay, so wanted posters and cone mouth. There's one.
Come on. There we go. I can absolutely fall off the edge, so let's not do that. Before I get that, okay, just wanted to check this wall and make sure. Because if you recall, this stage is going to completely rotate around, and there's another wanted poster there that we couldn't see before. There we go. So that's two down. And then this whole thing is going to shift downward. In the eternal struggle of bull versus vending machine, though, vending machine is the one that wins. Just as nature intended, I guess. Yeah, it just hit me. We're playing two games right now that have vending machines in them. we're playing this and then we're also playing um ukulele which has vendi you know what that's fine we we did not fall into the lava as cone mouth we fell into the lava as vending mouth
Okay, there is one. Dang. Well, now I just don't have any abilities at all. Vending machines have no natural predators. Today we have learned something about the universe. Okay, that was a bad idea. Never try to swallow a scarfy, and this is why. There's a sign. Game is giving us crash. So I'm going to take that as a sign. That was fun. I'm still like super nervous about missing a sign. Not gonna lie.
Well, at least our health is doing a lot better now. Ow. Of course, as soon as I say that. All right, cone mouth is coming up. Ow. Now all we need to do does not fall into the lava with cone mouth. Also, there's the last sign. But I need to actually hit it and not like everything around it. There we go. Ow! Frr. Okay, so falling into the lava is not allowed. The, the game is literally, don't touch the lava. And we succeeded. We did get hit with a fireball, but a fireball is not lava, and therefore, we have completed this stage. I think that last part is the part that uh, tripped me up the first time. Spook step. And pipe. Good. I, I I wanted to commemorate my experiences with pipe. In the presence of the king. So don't get hit by Forgo DD's fire attack. Um also we're gonna need to clear within a certain amount of time. And also without getting hit. So I think we should focus on not getting hit first. Hmm. Let's try it with Space Ranger, I guess. But yeah, if we can if we can not get hit, then we will also have not gotten hit by Forgo DDD's fire attack. And that's probably the one they're talking about. Well, that's getting hit. And that's getting hit by a fire attack.
Let's go get bomb. You'd think I would know Obama's right here. Just because we have a surplus of money, why not? And let's go take a nap for good measure. It would be nice if, like, after upgrading all the abilities, you would get, like, a map. Um, but I would be able to go into, like, the pause screen here and select an ability from here. Well, that's getting hit. I'm not sure if that counted as getting hit by a fire attack. I guess we'll have to see when we get to the... Uh... To the results screen.
All right. So that did count as not getting hit by the fire attack. So at least there's that. But that was a pretty messy fight, though. We would also need to clear within two minutes. Oh, it is sending sending us directly into Lab Discoverer? Oh, I don't like that at all. Like, it should let me, like, go just up here. Yeah. Like, it lets me go up here and do Lab Discover separately. Yeah, I'm not really feeling doing uh, Mass DDD if it's going to send me to Lab Discover all the time. Well, let's see. Oh, we have four four minute target time for this one. This is gonna be intense, isn't it? We have six minutes to clear this. Ow. There we go. This is stage one done. And now pick a stage, any stage. Gonna have to do them all. Twin bonkers, let's go. Not really a fan of the fact that uh, it seems to want me to do all of this within a time limit and without restoring any health. Now I do restore small amounts of health with uh, with the sword itself, but it's not enough. I'm gonna need to use that. Okay, Twin Frosties. Three and a half minutes to finish the stage. Now we're fighting twin Florinas.
Oh, you're you're going you're doing the thing at the same time. All right. Kirby the other way. Two minutes, 42 seconds. We're not going to make target time, but uh, we should be able to make uh, the time limit for sure. Twin Sword Knights. Or Twin Wild Edge. And you're going to do your thing. There we go. We actually got real close to, uh, to hitting the target time, too. Like, if we had another, like, 15 seconds, we would have done it. And I think that that is all of the treasure rifts. If it is, the game has probably got to tell us. Yeah, there we go. Treasure road complete. You cleared every treasure road by using all of your different abilities. You've earned a special figure as a reward. Rare Stone Master. It's not clear how or why uh, the space called Treasure Road started to appear behind portals throughout the New World. A strong energy was felt from within, and rare stones were soon discovered as its source. Congratulations on collecting all of them. Okay. So we are missing three there. We got all of these. We got all of these. We're missing five here. Uh, one there and three there. Wait, I missed kind of that. Oh, and one here. Um, missing one on the boss here. Missing two on the boss here. So at this point, um, I am going to go ahead and lift the no back seating. Um, for at least getting the rest of the the waddle -dees. If y'all know where they are, or y'all want to look them up, go right ahead. And I probably will end up looking some of these up too. Because I at this point, I am not leaving a stage without finding all of the Ds. Actually, I wonder how that affected our percentage. 89%, yeah. So going to a Lival Mall, we need to save the Hidden Wild Ds 
Uh, we have one left. We need to eat four donuts, and we need to navigate them all without getting lost. As being super cautious here. Interesting that uh, a bomb survived down there. Because that area is out of bounds for me. Yeah, there's the first donut. Actually, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, these last three were all in the same place.
Can we melt Mr. Frosty's heart? I don't know about that, but we can melt Mr. Frosty. Yeah, that was just a coin, that's fine. Still some very questionable uh, conveyors here. I believe there is a donut here. Yes, there is. And we know that the last one is right at the end. Oh, I think I know what I was missing before. So here we see ice cream, right? But notice, like, it's only the top right corner. The top right corner is missing here. So we want to go to the cake place across from the ice cream place. Yeah, there are two cake places. And sure enough, there is the last D. We have not gotten lost. And there's probably a donut hidden somewhere around here. Sure enough, yep. Ow. And then the last one is up here on the table. There we go. First world done. We got a traffic cone and also a jab hog and also Sir Kibble and also the last three friggin D's in this world. Okay.
But we already got all of them in Ever Bay Coast. We got all of them in Wonderia Remains. We're missing five in Winter Horns. So what are we missing here? We're missing Destroy Four Animal Snow Sculptures. All right. I guess let's enjoy this nice little cinematic intro, but we'll skip it next time. If there is a next time, which hopefully there won't be. I would like to not do the stage 47 times. I mean, I do feel a little bad destroying these all the time. Hear me, please. There we go. They're cute. Now let's see, where is the next one? It's interesting that it doesn't let me charge again. Uh, until the energy ball has dissipated completely. I guess it's just to like avoid there being two energy balls at, at the same time. There we I was trying to determine what was that on the on the side of the wall there and I think that's basically just one of those wreaths that that kind of is kind of hanging up there. I don't know, so far we haven't found another uh, snow sculpture. I'm not too happy about that. Oh, there's one there.
Dang. Don't bring a musket to a laser gun fight. It's not going to end well for you. Is there a snow sculpture here? Haha! Subverted, subverted your mechanics. Hopefully, there was not a snow sculpture in there that I needed to get. I don't think so, though. Dang. Aha. There's number three. I like how I was able to just completely no-scope all three of them. That wasn't a 360 no-scope, but hey. Would that have made that much of a difference? There probably is some degree of aim assist happening too, so, I mean. Oh, come on, I disagree, aim. Green capsule, good, good. I'm surprised that the game lets me do that. Flip backward like that. And there is the last one. There we go. And that's all of them. So let's just go ahead and clear the sage.
And here's a new one, Floor Tornado. Grace, elegance, beauty, and brutal attacks. Pull your enemies into a flurry of feathers and turn battles into sophisticated ballets. Ow! Hurts almost as much as point as uh, point shoes. And time crash. We didn't think the crash abilities boom could get any biggester. But this one can break time itself. Slow down time and act fast to cause some real destruction. I think we have time for one more. Do I want to do this one? Yeah, let's give it a try. You need to find two secret passages. And every time that I have attempted this stage, I have found one. Same guy, are you still there? Can you look up where the secret passages are in this stage? The name of the stage is Metro on Ice. Just so that we can do this like on the first try and I don't have to come back to this next week. Oh, well, sounds like I'm not the only person who's having this issue then. Now. First passage is in the second area and requires hammer. I wonder if they're counting this as the first area. Or I think I think there's a bonkers in this uh in this area. Okay, if there isn't a bonkers, there is at least one of the friggin' monkeys. And by one, I mean four. It also just straight up gives me a, um, copy pedestal.
Okay, so there are things to hammer. These things. Two sections of wall with star nails. Yeah, we, we found all the Hindis in this uh, stage. So it's probably considering this to be the second one, although it's technically the third. Because there is like an entryway. But the entryway doesn't have anything interesting in it. Ow. Well, that just kind of chain reaction badly. So this is the first secret passage. Good to know that it is the first one. So the wording on the second one is a bit weird. Okay. I guess I'll just stand by here for a second. So I want to make sure not to miss it. Yeah, keep going right. Up over the roadblock. Oh. In retrospect, this seems pretty gosh darn obvious. Always fun to find hyper candy. What's even more fun is now I can just rush the rest of the stage. And there we go. Another figure of Elphalin. A new figure of Chain Bomb. Chain your bombs together to explode all of them at once. Pull down the button, aim and throw to place them. The more bombs you connect, the more damage they'll do. 
And homing bombs work quite the same way, which is why I kind of try to throw them in the spread as much as possible. Well, uh, so I think the next one is going to be this here. Four wanted posters, twin wild frosty without getting hit, and take a detour and find a max and tomato. Um, wow, we're only missing six. We are getting there. So yeah, we're almost to the end of um, at least our search for all of the missing model Ds. So that's something that we should be able to complete pretty handily. But um, that is something that we're going to have to do to do we're gonna have to do that next time uh soul fragments are indeed the next part um i'll be heading back to forgo dreams and um clearing those out we don't have a whole lot of those to do either so at least there's that um so let's go see who is streaming and looks like Sussball is streaming as she normally would um, on Saturdays. Uh, she is continu continuing her run of Death Stranding. Uh, I did not say stop playing music there, game. So, um, yeah. Thank y'all for coming by. Uh, Jewel, Tyrion, uh, Sim Guy. Uh, Benin Kong, Benin Kong. Anyway, uh, thank you for the follow. The next scheduled stream is going to be tomorrow night at uh, probably later than seven thirty. Let's face it, Atlantic Daylight Time. It is going to be the Sunday Super Shuffle where we're going to do some crazy um, multi-world shenanigans as we always do. Next stream after that is going to be on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Atlantic Daylight Time. It is the normal long run stream. We're going to continue our look through um, ukulele and uh, possibly get to an ending. I don't think we're going to get all the pages, but um, we're getting awful close to finishing the game. And that brings us around the week, around the wheel to our next. Um, extra long run where we're going to get those last six Waddle Ds in Kirby and the Forgotten Land and then uh, move on to collecting the remainder of the soul pieces. If we have time after that, we'll see what it takes to get to 100%. Um, so yeah, that is going to do it. I'm cool here if you don't know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I do that, before I sign off, let's go ahead and do this thing. Push the button. There we go. Now I can say it. I'm cool here if you don't know. And I'll see you guys next time.